Karishma Patel. Um, I'm an RDH and work at in San Mateo County with Head Start Population. Hi, my name is Leslie Estrada and I'm a dental assistant slash navigator and I also work with San Mateo County with Head Start. So on an average, we see six to seven kids um, doing pro phase, taking x-rays, um, sealants, and eye tears if needed. Um, just mainly it's um, more than the procedures, giving information to the parents and kids, uh, uh, making them awareness of the early prevention and educating them. It can be a good day, a hectic day, uh, but like she said, yeah, every day when we do go out and see kids at uh, one of the Head Start sites, um, it's we repeat the same things, but of course, um, it's very different because every child is different. Successes, I would say, it's um, parents are getting to uh, know, uh, they're becoming aware, uh, um, of dental care and it can be done at the schools um, and things kind of um, it helps them they don't have to make appointments or anything the the kids are there at the school um, and, you know they take care of the challenges I would say is getting them on the board it's starting <laughs> initially to have them sign up the consents and telling them why this is important because mm -hmm. I, I feel like um, there's not uh, a lot of, they're not, they don't have the knowledge or they're not aware that um, the primary teeth are important. Mm -hmm. uh, mainly they think, oh, you know, it's baby teeth, it's just going to stay for a couple of years, fall out and things. So educating them that this is the foundation mm -hmm. of the adult teeth yes. and if this foundation is weak the adult teeth it can affect the right. building itself like the primary teeth and stuff. Right. Just like she mentioned the challenge is just to um, for the parents to understand how important baby teeth are because um, it affects when the adult teeth come in mm -hmm. and just having the parents being on the same the like, same path as you know learning and um, knowing how important it is and then for the success is just seeing um, improvement in the kids. Um, it can be a behavior improvement, um, it can be oral health, you know, improvement. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna go back to the beginning when we first met this child to you know see them for an exam. I feel the parents um, won't have it. I don't want to say easy for them, but they won't have the. They won't. They won't be able to go, you know, to a regular dental office on their own. Um, it's just we notice with our population, it's easier, you know, for us to go to them, and especially at their school at a comfortable setting where we can see them there. Um, if we we're not there, I just feel like it's just not gonna. They're, they're not gonna continue with their oral. They know oral. that we're there for them and. Even if it's um, getting information or asking us about something else, um, just you know, regarding the insurance, because we do have some of the parents. Uh, they not they um, they do. It's just not dental questions. They'll come us to. They call Leslie and ask uh, her about the insurance and stuff. So they know we're there to support them in other ways too, just not for dental care. With VDH, it's we just now focusing on just their mouth. It's their overall health, um, educate, educating them, bringing them to a higher level, telling you know, pass, uh, making sure that parents start with themselves, like start learning themselves, and then pass that knowledge to their kids. Because uh, what I believe in, it's if I'm not doing something um, myself or. You know, if I'm not taking care of myself, I wouldn't be able to pass that same thing to my um, kids. As working with VDH and with Head Start, I think the parents of the kids, they feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, they notice that, you know, we do take the time when we see, see the child and um, we don't force anything on the child. Um, 
we're very you know kid friendly so we explain everything to the child we show them everything so I feel like they are or the parents as well they're comfortable with us um, any questions um, any concerns they always contact me and I just think they feel comfortable Along the way, um, we have seen that parents um, are acknowledging our services and they're appreciating it, which is more because uh, we do see them come back, and not just the parents, but even the caretakers, the teachers, they, they're learning. They've learned a lot through our program, being at their facilities, that it is important to them, I mean, uh, to prevent um, dental problems uh, rather than taking, you know, curing them and they have learned this through. Uh, my favorite is when we first see a child for the first time and you can notice they're very nervous because um, they see us in scrubs and with gloves on and then when we come back either for a three month or six month follow up when they see us for the second time totally different. Their behavior is, they feel more comfortable and I just like to see that and then especially hearing from the parents, wow I'm surprised he let you, you know, work on him. That, that's my favorite part.